okay everybody this is the practice of letting it come and letting it go a somatic tracking or an awareness practice of what you're experiencing so I want you guys to just be wherever you are in the space that you're in and what we're gonna do is first turn on this mindfulness or self-awareness of yourself of your own experience and we're gonna try to hold your mindfulness throughout this practice right now to strengthen your prefrontal cortex, which is the part of your brain that has been shown to become weakened with chronic anxiety, emotional problems, also with chronic pains and chronic somatic symptoms. So this is the most important thing. And with this awareness and mindfulness, you're going to just observe and witness what's happening in yourself, thoughts, emotional feelings, physical sensations, whatever comes into your awareness, you're going to notice these things from a place of it being okay, from a place of allowance, letting it come in, seeing what it is, and letting it go because they're just thoughts, they're just feelings, they're just sensations. So tune into yourself right now and I want you just to notice what you're experiencing in your own awareness. Your awareness should be broad. Your awareness should be of yourself, of your space around you. Just being mindful, just being aware, being present now to what's coming up. Are you noticing thoughts going through your mind? Are you noticing physical sensations in your body? Are you noticing any emotions? Whatever you notice, I want you just to allow that to come into your awareness and to allow it to go. I want you to allow whatever's bubbling up in you to bubble up, but to continue to bubble up and to continue to boil off, just like boiling water or allowing these things to surface these unconscious thoughts that come into our awareness, these, these sensations of potential pain or symptoms, associated emotional feelings, everything. All three of those things are to be accepted, to be let in, acknowledged, and then let them pass. You're just witnessing these things like a stream of consciousness right now flowing through you. None of them are bad. You don't want to suppress any of these right now. You don't want to push them away. All we want to do is just open to what is. Open to your experience from this mindful, observing place that it's okay. And just allow these things to unfold right now in yourself. And I want you to notice as you're doing this now, when you are starting to suppress or push away something that's coming up, something maybe you don't like or don't want, truths of thought, uncomfortable emotion, memory, a physical sensation, a symptom. Whatever's coming up in you now, let it come. And then I also want you just to let it go. You don't need to analyze what's coming up. You don't need to overthink this. You don't need to run with what's coming up and look at it and spin it or worry about it or be concerned by it. Just let it go. And then the next thing comes. So it becomes a stream of consciousness right now where things are coming into your awareness, thoughts, feelings, sensations, symptoms, and you're just allowing them to move through you in whatever way they want without you blocking them on the front end and without you holding on to them so they don't get let go. So just noticing more of your sort of resistances or reactions to what's happening See if you can let those go as well. 
anything that's arising right now into your experience in this moment with me, I want you just to allow it to express itself freely, openly, and to know that when you do this, you're allowing your brain, your unconscious mind to discharge, to release, to express itself when normally we don't give it that chance. We're unknowingly or unconsciously suppressing or repressing these uncomfortable things. We're reacting, we're pushing them away, twisting, manipulating, rationalizing all the defense mechanisms we use to basically get away or not deal with what's coming up. I want you to let what's coming up come up in you right now to bubble up freely in its own way, its own shape, its own form, its own thoughts, its own feelings, its own symptoms, and let it move through you in any way it wants, unimpeded, without you doing anything other than just observing it, just witnessing it, just noticing it. And as you notice this, be okay with all of it. Have that in the back of your mind that you're okay with all this. These are just thoughts which are electricity moving from your brain. These are just feelings, which are chemicals in your body. We don't want to block the natural process of expression. We want to allow this to unfold. The chemicals will be taken up. Emotions will be processed. Thoughts will cease. Notice if you're jumping in with more thinking more thought. See if you can let that go because you're just creating more electricity in yourself of a similar fashion as the first thought. Notice if you're trying to avoid or get away from an uncomfortable feeling in your body, an emotion. See if you can lean into that. Allow the emotion to come in more in any way it wants that you can feel this emotion like a cloud moving through you. You can let these clouds come and let them go. Notice if you feel any physical sensations in your body. Pains, somatic symptoms. Don't label them. Just allow the raw sensation to move through you. To keep unfolding, to keep moving in and moving out in whatever way it wants because it's not dangerous. It's okay for you to let this come in and let this go. It's just an expression. It's an unfolding, a releasing. And again, the most important thing is that you're just being aware, mindful, observing, and noticing these things. When you're just doing that, that's all you have to do you don't need to jump into it, meddle with it. The fastest way for you to release this is to let it go, to allow it to move through you in its own intelligent way without you thinking you need to do something with it. Again, these are just thoughts coming up for you. These are just emotions, feelings, sensations electricity and chemicals. What do you notice? What do you feel? What's arising? Just take this cap off in yourself and allow the natural expression of what's coming up right now, letting it come into your awareness and then letting it go. You're just stepping back, sitting on the banks of your river right now, watching, witnessing this unfolding and that you don't need to do anything other than that. So what's coming up right now, and what's coming up each moment as we do this practice is not so important. The most important thing is that you allow it to come up and that you allow it to move through you so that it doesn't get stuck in your mind-body that it can just keep unfolding, 
keep expressing itself. Whatever it is, however it feels, wherever it is in your body, you're just getting more still. You're getting more calm and you're just deepening this sort of observing practice, noticing practice. This is the key to success, is you're building your mindfulness in your prefrontal cortex of your brain, which allows you to filter and regulate and process these things that are coming up from your unconscious mind. You're now becoming aware of what's coming up stepping out of your old patterns of suppression and repression of uncomfortable things, of twisting things, overthinking things, overanalyzing. And you're just giving yourself a break right now and knowing that doing this is very healthy, therapeutic, giving permission for your brain and nervous system to dump off some of these things that are arising now, to let go of some of these stresses and weights, and thoughts, feelings and symptoms that keep coming. And what's coming is okay. What you're experiencing right now, however you feel, however strong, the thought or the feeling or the symptom is, just know that it's still okay. And the more you can stay open to what you're experiencing now, the more transformation you're going to have. The more this is going to keep moving through you. Sometimes when you first start to open up and allow some of these uncomfortable things to come into your awareness, it can feel like a tidal wave can feel like a lot and that's only because it's been backed up and that's it's been suppressed or repressed or pushed back you haven't allowed its full authentic honest true thoughts and feelings and symptoms to come in so just know that even the strongest and most powerful and the most uncomfortable things that might be arising in you right now, if you can stay open to them and let them move through you, and let them come and let them go over and over again, it's just like a bottled up lake with a dam. You've taken this dam down. There's a lot of water moving in the beginning. But once you let this water keep moving out, it starts to become more settled, just like a little bubbling creek stream and you start to notice things might settle down a little bit and then maybe they come up again so the nature of the mind the nature of this from the brain is that as one thing passes another comes maybe it's from deep in your brain a memory or a thought or a feeling again another physical sensation comes again so you just continue to stay open. You're just watching a movie of your own life play out right now from your brain, from your mind. And you're just becoming aware and witnessing the movie of yourself play out and that you're very safe to watch your own movie from this place of mindfulness. It's like sitting on the sofa and watching TV. You're not in the movie some separation the movie's not real and your thoughts and feelings and symptoms are also not real in the sense that that they're truly dangerous just like with a movie you can sit there and watch a very disturbing movie a violent movie a sad movie and you can have true feelings and thoughts but you're still knowing that it's okay Deep down, you know that this is just a movie. So I want you to know that this is just playing out in your own head. It's playing out in your own body right now. Nobody else knows what's going on. 
these are just thoughts, feelings, and just chemicals and electricity coursing through you right now. Take away any type of story or meaning or thinking that it's bad and see if you can just allow whatever is there to unfold from this sitting on the sofa and watching it pass by, just like a movie. And you open to your unconscious mind like you're doing now and allow things to bubble up, allow expressions to take place. You're opening to your whole life that's stored in your brain, that potentially could come up, that you actually want to come up if you're mindful, if you're aware, if you're settled, if you're just being the observer, you can watch this movie play out, even in all its uncomfortable scenes. And just like a movie that you watch, there's usually a happy ending. And the happy ending is that you've processed and that you've let go of some things that have been stored in you that you haven't allowed them to come out and be expressed and just be witnessed just be looked at, just be acknowledged for what it is, and then letting it go. Any emotion, anger, sadness, grief, fear, anxiety, shame, guilt, any flavor, any feeling, any emotion is all to be allowed Notice yourself judging certain ones if you do or pushing certain ones away, which may be harder for you to hold the space for or to be open to. Just notice that and see if you can drop your resistance and let even the most uncomfortable emotion come through you. It's just chemical. Same thing with physical sensations or somatic symptoms. See if you can let the most uncomfortable sensation, if it's been building in you or it's been hanging you, that you can allow it to just keep expressing itself freely, letting it come, letting it go, without concern, without worry, that this is an actual ex expression taking place that wants to take place, needs to take place. Same thing with the thought. The thought keeps popping in your head an obtrusive thought, a persistent thought, obsessive thought, that you can allow the thought just to come and go, to come into your awareness, and for you just to let it move out of your awareness. And it may come back. Your thoughts, your feelings, your symptoms may come back again over and over, but you're still practicing the same way of just witnessing them. And eventually, as you keep staying open and you're not shutting it down on the front end or holding on to it or manipulating it so it can go, eventually these things go more than they come. They tend to go more than they come, which means you're getting some healing, getting some transformation around things that are deep in us and are bubbling up. You're all doing a good job of just staying open right now to what's arising in yourself. What have you been noticing? What have you been seeing, observing in yourself that's been coming up? And just noticing where you might have some sort of defenses or sort of reactions or resistances and learning to drop those things and just allow a clear stream of flow of consciousness to move through you. Continue unabated like a river, just carrying downstream all these things right out of you. Whatever you notice, you're safe right now. It's safe to notice it from a place of mindfulness. You're very safe sitting on a bank of your river or in your sofa watching your movie. As long as you don't jump into the movie and become unconscious, become the movie or jump in your river and be taken downstream, you're building again mindfulness, you're building self-awareness, you're building your prefrontal cortex to 
work with your limbic brain right now, which is where a lot of this stuff comes from. So good job, everybody. We're going to finish up here in a moment. Again, just staying open to what is, to what's coming and what's going. And you guys did a fantastic job. We'll come back to this at any time for a little bit longer practice. And I wish you all the best. And just keep trying to imbibe this in your life on a daily basis. This is a way of living. It's an easy way of living where you don't have to do any work. You don't have to try. You don't have to do much other than just allow. Okay, the movement through you, the flow, and being in the flow now. Honest, truth, open flow. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.